Let's go over extensions and behaviors. Behaviors are pre-built logic that you can attach to an object and can do basically anything you want them to. And the engine comes with dozens of these behaviors ready to be installed. Everything from platformer controls to a health system and so much more. You can see that some of these behaviors are built for specific objects and so then they show up as incompatible with this object type. So I can add a behavior to the object by clicking on it and then it shows up in the object's behavior list. So this is the draggable behavior, which means that now if I go to preview the game, the player object which has the draggable behavior can now be dragged around. So those are behaviors. Each behavior is built differently, and some of them will even come with their own events. Now for extensions. If you go to your project manager, you can go down to the extensions section and click on create or search for a new extension, and you'll find the extension list. An extension is basically anything that doesn't come with the engine by default. So extensions can come with new actions and conditions, new behaviors, and even entirely new objects. And there are two different lists for extensions. The official reviewed list of extensions, which is what you'll see by default, but you can also flip this toggle. These are extensions that are built by community members that just haven't gotten through the review process yet because the officially reviewed extensions go through a lot of testing to make sure that they work as well as possible. Between the officially reviewed and the community extensions, there are hundreds of extensions to download and use in your game. Everything from gamepad controls to animation effects, flashing, transitions, and way more. As an example, if I look up Snap for Snap to Grid, I can install the Rectangular Grid extension, and it'll show up here in my extension list as an extension that's installed in the project. This one just comes with actions. So if I create a new event and add the action to snap object to a virtual grid, I can select the player. And if I go to the event scene and turn on the grid, you'll see that the grid is set up to be 32 by 32. So the object's full height and width is 64. So if I set this to 64 as well for the height and width and then preview the game, now when I drag this object, it will snap to that grid because of the action that comes with that extension. The draggable behavior plus that extension can be used to drag a character along a grid. Extensions can be really useful for a lot of things, like condensing your event sheet. If you click to create or search for a new extension, down in the bottom here you can create a new extension. And through this interface you can make an entirely new extension on your own but we won't be covering that in this video. If you'd like to learn more about how to make your own extension, there's lots of information on the wiki. But you can also open existing extensions to see how those extensions work. Hopefully now you understand that a behavior is logic that gets attached to an object, and an extension is basically any kind of logic that doesn't come with the engine by default. If you'd like to continue learning about the engine, be sure to check out this video.